Hi guys, Veggie Gamer back and we're reacting to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire Veggie Knights episode 4 as it also should be known, I guess. But you've already read nice. looking forward to this one. That last one guys, Prisoner of Azkaban, I've been getting a lot of comments uh, confirming that it is a lot of your favourites guys. And it, that was so good. In that, I keep I kept on saying in my reaction, but that last hour, my goodness, how good did that get. So, looking forward to finding out who's who's got the Goblet of Fire. Doesn't sound very healthy to drink fire, but I guess we'll find out who's been drinking. Maybe a dragon. I don't know. Oh, the, the dude from the, the little dragon from the first movie. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked very nice. Thank you all so much for your amazing support on these videos, guys. Seriously, it's hugely appreciated. It's insane, guys. Subscribers have shot through the roof. We've actually broken 75,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for for, for uh, helping you get there. We are three quarters of the way to my ultimate goal, guy, which is guys, which is just phenomenal. Thank you all so, so much. Few notes, guys, that I need to go through. I'll try and keep my intro short because that last intro was so long. First of all, so many of you guys have been telling me information about the Marauders map. Fascinating, guys. Where it says it's uh, Mooney, Padfoot, Wormtail, and Prongs is actually Lupin. Get it in right order, Veggie. Sirius, Peter Pettigrew, Group, Timothy Spall, and uh, and James Potter, which is just. Amazing guys that is apparently covered in the books it is not covered in the movie So it's really nice to hear that sort of detail guys also a lot of you guys have been saying actually my brother actually said this as well Apparently there is something going on when it comes to the fact that these defense are the good against the dark arts teachers guys They don't last long and so I'm guessing there's gonna be a new one today I'm guessing they're probably gonna die before the end of it. Have we had one die yet? Yes, blimmin um... That's my impression of him right Anyway, but that's more details. Also, you guys have been... Uh, one of the, the most vocal points on my reaction, guys, is my reaction to Hufflepuff uh, beating Gryffindor, which I admit I may have gotten a little bit overexcited about, guys. I'm so, so sorry. One thing that a lot of you guys have been saying is that it was actually going to be put down... Um, no, 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 it was going to be uh, Hufflepuff 1, but apparently the Seeker from Hufflepuff, who apparently is like, well, a, a, a good egg. A good egg, apparently. Uh, Cedric was like saying, hey, no, no, we should re re replay. It's not fair that that happened to Harry. After he got struck by lightning, I'll point out. But anyway, guys, he sounds like a, a very good egg, Venn, right? So I think most Huff Puffs are. So, yes, one thing which I didn't go into in uh, Chambers or in, in uh, Azkaban, saying my favourite characters from the guys, which I did do in the first one. Snape was my favourite from, um, from uh, Stone. Uh, Chambers, my favourite character, would have to be Gilderoy. I finally learned how to say his name, guys, but he was so funny. What a great character. What a great performance as well by Kenneth Branagh. From Prisoner of Azkaban, it is so close. And it's not just new characters, guys. I'll say this. Harry is right up there with the, my top two other characters. I think in second place, I've got Sirius. I think that my favorite character from it was Lupin, guys. I don't know why, but I just found his character really endearing. I, I loved every single single scene with him in, quite frankly, guys. And so, yeah, I, I think he's my favourite from Prisoner. Let me know your favourite characters from the first three movies and indeed this Goblet of Fire uh, movie as well in the comments. This is so typical, guys. I said that I'm going to make my intro short this time and we're nearly four minutes in already and I, I'm only halfway down my list. So let's get through it. <laughs> Pardon me. That's not very Hulper. Um, Right, uh, Double Trouble, the tune from uh, Prince of Azkaban. I have listened to a hell of a lot over the last couple of weeks, guys. I'll tell you that much. That is a beautiful song. It's the song with they're singing as we get to um, a Hogwarts at the start, uh, you know, near the start of the movie. They're, they're not singing in the chamber. Love that song. It's beautiful, guys. In a really creepy way. Um, I don't know which other characters we'll be seeing again. I'm not sure if we'll see Sirius in this one. I think we'll see him down the line, but not in this movie. That's my prediction. I Maybe Lucius will be back in this one, maybe? I'm not sure if we'll see Lupin at, at all, guys. Obviously, don't confirm that in the comments or, or anything like that, guys. But um, I, I, I hope we see him again. Uh, one, one other thing which I should have said at the end of Chambers, but I didn't. Um, at one point, I did say that Father Ted was a British sitcom, guys. It's actually Irish, guys. It's It was made by Channel 4, which is a British channel. I believe, uh, produced by, I believe. But everyone in it and the writers and everything are Irish. It is a great sitcom, guys. I highly recommend it. I had to mention that because I still get comments and I kick myself each time I get a comment saying, Hey, what's well, actually Irish? I, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Uh, is Hagrid Hufflepuff? That, that, that's that's my only note. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I've actually written is is Hagrid down with the puff? 
which is which is how I refer to people that I think are in Hufflepuff. But I presume that Hagrid must have been up in Hufflepuff. He had to have been. Maybe I need to zoom in on the uh, on that scene in the flashback in Chambers. And finally, guys, massive shout out to the patrons. Thank you all so much for signing up. It is greatly appreciated. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, guys, you can. You don't need to, though, guys. Don't worry. These these edited views are going nowhere, and I do try I, I try to keep every single interesting part into them. But if you do want to go and support the Patreon, guys, you can check out the full reactions to these movies. Obviously, you will need your own copy of the movie, guys. But thank you all so much for the patrons. Uh, you, you can sign up for like. Like, like the smallest amount. Seriously, I've, put, I've got no like barriers or like you know certain amounts you have to pay. Pay the smallest amount, and you get access to all the reactions that I've done uh, full length. And that is my intro done. Pretty much as long as the one in A Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm so so sorry, guys. I'm terrible at this YouTube lark. Let's get on checking this out. Goblet of Fire. I don't know, guys. Sorcerer's Stone, <laughs> Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire. It's quite a vague title. Let's find out who's been gobbing the fire. Don't know what I meant by that. Let's start. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. It's not related to the blooming dude from the second movie, is it? Unless it's the one which Harry let out in Philosopher's Stone. It could be. Are we starting off with Vernon? They've moved, if we are. It's a nice little cottage, wherever it is. Beautiful looking place. That's not Vernon. Who's this then? It's Sykes. <laughs> it's blooming Sykes, guys. My goodness. It's like a, a British comedy actor, guys. Lovely to see him, guys. I didn't realize he was still working at this point. Partially blinded, you know. Oh, this ain't a good start. I'm hoping it's serious, like hiding up there with uh, Buckbeak. Oh, he's starting off a team of spoil already. Here we are. That's David Tennant, isn't it? It's Doctor Who, guys. What the heck? Was he even around back then? I guess he would have been. Just outside the door. Ah! Uh, Wormtail! Wormtail. Oh no. Abracadabra! Don't tell me Sykes is already dead. He didn't last long, did he? You're right. Who's this? Oh, Hermione! Your mother says breakfast's ready. I was gonna say, is this actually um the Weasley house? It is the Weasley's house. Oh, that's nice. They're staying around there for for, for like a holiday, maybe? The hair is amazing, guys. It's Amos Diggory, everyone. Oh, I know him. Oh, okay. This strapping young lad must be Cedric. Am I right? Yes, sir. This way. Wait, that's not actually. That I can't pause already. What the hell just happened? Is Batman Hufflepuff? That's Batman, right? Also known for those vampire movies which I haven't seen, guys. Hey, how young is he in this? Is that actually Cedric from Hufflepuff? Please let Batman be Hufflepuff. Come on! What's with the boots? Harry, nice hat, by the way. Very stylish. Oh my god! And none of them were ever seen again. What the hell is going on already? I bet that cleared your sinuses, eh? Is that the actor? I've seen a cinnamon in uh, uh, the lighthouse. The Quidditch World Cup? Are you kidding me? Italians? Indians? This is so cool! Oh my god, this is amazing! Irish, I think I saw that? Spanish? Union flag there? UK? Don't know what that flag is there. Irish? This is awesome! I gotta say, guys, Papa Weasley's looking very stylish today. He's got real good style, that man. He needs a beard, though. Oh, it's like the TARDIS! So we've already had a Doctor and a TARDIS. Who, who the funk, guys? I didn't know that David Tennant was in this. Think about it, he probably would have been the Doctor when this was being made. Oh, this is everything. I, I didn't think anything like this would happen, guys. Well, put it this way. He's back. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. First to know? Draco's suit, guys. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't complaining. There's no need with these people. Slivering don't win nothing, mate. They're a bunch of schmucks. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh my god, that hat. So it's, yeah, because it's, it's those countries rather than clubs, of course. Come on now. Let's see how the paddies do, guys. Here come the Bulgarians! Bulgarians, no way! Guys, I am so happy right now. I didn't think it's going to start off anything like this. This is amazing. How old is he? Oh, it's Fudge again. Nice to see you back. I do love his hat. Let the match begin. Oh, it's a microphone. I get it. I get it. 
So he's like, okay, I thought, so he must be much higher than, say, um, uh, Dumbledore then. You know, in, in rank, I mean, oh my goodness. It looks like the Irish one, guys. It's not the Irish. What's happening? We've got to get out of here. Get back to the pot key, everybody, and stick together! Oh no! Oh no! No, oh, I was hoping we could get back here. Uh, okay, I'm guessing that's not what I think I... Okay, they're zombie dudes. Okay, thank God. I thought it was going in a very dark direction then, guys. Are these zombies? They look skeletal, at least. Are they... Uh, what are they... Are they here to just mess the event up? Or are they actually... Oh, they're not after Harry, are they? Mr. Poplar over here, any? Ow! Oh, he's out for the count, guys. Yeah, are your glasses all right, though? They are. End of the movie? It's a short one. I had to make that joke at least every single movie, guys. Wow! What the hell? They're only just trying to enjoy some sport, guys! Nice jacket this guy has. That's so cool. I love it. Oh, it is David Tennant. Here we go. Oh, this is not a good start, Harry. Oh, and good that Ron and Hermione are looking for him. Thank goodness! What is that? That's so cool. That's what it is, Ron. It's like something out of Warcraft. What? Stop! Harry, what have you captured it? Crouch, you can't. Have you got lies? It's Trigger! Discovered at the scene of the crime. Crime? Marty, they're just kids. It's Trigger, guys. Roger Lloyd Pack. Right, Dave. That's. Yes, I'm glad that he's in Harry Potter. Those people tonight in the masks. Masks? Death eaters. Death eaters. Before. I've seen Roger Lloyd Pack in a play live, guys, in Oxford. Fantastic actor. Fantastic actor. Didn't see his face. It's David Tennant. You should be, you know, obviously not a bit of a Hoovian, are you? I love that. I love that, guys. I'm. St these these movies, movies are teaching me that I love gothic, scary stuff because I love the wraiths in uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. I freaking love this thing. Two pumpkin pasties, please. Pumpkin pasties. Oh, hello. Who's this? I don't know why I'm writing down pumpkin pasties, but I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm sure that's really going to pay off this note, guys. Horrible. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. Sirius? Well, he actually dreamt of Sykes getting killed. Poor Sykes. Uh, we're actually going to see Sirius in this? That blooming bridge, guys. It's blooming bridge. Nothing but trouble. Oh, hello. Pegasus? No, Pegasus is the name, isn't it? I can never remember what the... Oh my god! Uh, Pixis is the, is the name of one of those, isn't it? I saw, I saw Neville! I saw you, Neville! The main character in these movies, guys. There's Hagrid of Hufflepuff. Is he down with a puff, though, guys? That's the only question I got. Oh, hello. Looks like everyone's coming to town. Oh, wow. A submarine pirate ship? That's pretty metal. I'm already loving... I mean, I can't believe... We're 16 minutes in, guys, and every does look so pretty already. To some very special guests as well. Are you alright? She... Oh, Filch, what have you seen? So, and how's Mrs. Norris as well? A <laughs> poor guy, you need to get along with those, all these things, those wheel things. Segway. The Triwizard Tournament brings together three schools for a series of magical contests. Oh, cool. These, these contests are not for the faint hearted. Well, we better put or Neville in for us then. Of the Bow Battens Academy of Magic. Oh, it's an old gold school! No, are they about to do a dance sequence or something? They are. <laughs> oh, he's quite condescending. <laughs> Bloody hell. Alright, Grunt, keep your mind out of the gutter. Wow, okay, this is a big woman. Is that Miss Jones from Rising Damp? It's not. Oh my gosh, she's a big woman, guys. She's gonna, you know, she's gonna friggin' challenge that woman from Resident Evil 8, is it? I don't know. I, I, you, you know what I'm talking about, guys. She's a popular character nowadays amongst certain people. You know who you are. Oh my goodness, is this an old boy's school? At least at Hogwarts, they allowed fabulous hair. <laughs> There's a lot of crew cuts going on here, guys. Whoa! Milton, they got hit then. I'm guessing these guys are Russian? <laughs> Oh no, they're, are they the Bul no, they're the Bulgarians. That must be, okay, so so that's why we saw so much of that Bulgarian at the start, guys. That's gotta be. That's not David Tennant, is it? My horses have traveled a long way. Oh, Miss Jones. Know, Can't do his Rigsby impression. They drink only single malt whiskey. <laughs> Bless him. You idiot. Ow, that's horrible, it's like aliens. Okay, what we got now? 
who wins the Triwizard Tournament. Gonna rot your teeth, guys. Must dangerous tasks. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. Mr. Bartimus Crouch. Fantastic scene triggering this. Oh, okay. Uh, that's horrible. Why has he got... Is that... An eye patch eye? It's supposed to be mad as a hatter though these days. Well, he looks it. I mean, McGonagall does, it does not look happy. Oh, of course. Mr. Poplar again. <clears throat> what son is drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Could be a pumpkin pasty. Oh, it's a, it's like a championship, of course. It's like a World Cup. If chosen, there's no turning back. Dumbledore's like trying to get him scared. He always is. Alistair Moody. That is the guy now. He's he's a very good actor, guys. He's in in Bruges. Moody we were why. Your new defense against the dark arts teacher. Oh, dude. Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. You're screwed, mate. <laughs> You need to know what you're up against. Oh no. You need to be prepared. Seamus, pay attention, mate. Put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. <laughs> oh, Here careful. Classrooms. Which curse shall we see first? None. Weasley. Yes. Oh, Ron. Give us a curse. I was going to say something rude then. My dad did tell me about one imperious curse. Oh, yeah. Your father would know all about that. Money doesn't look happy. Oh, my God. I'm not happy. Oh god, what is that? It's like a crab spider? Oh no, I was gonna say. No, thank you. Oh no, 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 no. Poor uh, crab. Oh no, oh no. Oh, you dick. Oh, Ron. Ah! oh no! Oh no, my. Cores of witches and wizards, they only did you know who's bidding. Under the influence of the Imperious Curse. How do we sort out the liars? Oh. Oh, Neville. The Cruciatus Curse. Correct! Correct! Crucio! Oh, the poor thing. Now what's happening? Oh, the poor thing! What's it doing? Stop it! Can't you see it's bothering him? Stop it! Yeah, it's blooming torturing it. I'm not sure. Um, I think I'd prefer Lupin as a teacher, guys. What a prick. The killing curse. Only one person is known to have survived it. Oh, Harry? The killing curse. What is he drinking, guys? I feel like that's going to be significant. What a horrible lesson that was. Son, you all right? Clearly not. I want to show you something. Uh, I wouldn't go, Neville. It's going to just get worse. Unless he, I doubt he feels bad about what happened. He, he clearly doesn't care. Oh. Oh, interesting. What's that? What does that mean, guys? Oh my goodness. Is he Hufflepuff, guys? Is this actually the character that you were telling me about? No, I didn't expect him to actually be in it. This is an age line. A genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled as an aging potion. Oh. Some sir. Oh no. Oh god. And they die instantly. Oh. You're kidding me. See, okay, these guys are smarter than Hermione, Sonny. I doubt it. Something bad's about to happen. Yes. Okay. Hermione's still not convinced. And nor am I. I knew it, guys. I knew it. Good try. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The beautiful hair. The beautiful hair. Oh, hello. Love is in the air, guys. Champion selection. Oh, hello. Here we go. So I presume Cedric then, if he's the only one who's old enough to be in it. Careful, dude. You're gonna burn your fingers. Okay. First name. Victor Crump. Victor. Easy to remember. The champion for bow battens is Fleur Delacour. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yeah. And he is Hufflepuff! I <laughs> so nearly swore, yes! Come on! Come on, I didn't expect him to be in this, and I didn't expect him to be blooming Batman, guys. That is the guy who plays Batman. I'm sorry if it isn't. He's going to be playing Batman. Anyone will hoist this chalice of champions, this vessel of victory. Oh, wow, that's so cool! Whiz! Oh, what's wrong with 
Snake. Oh, it's not going to choose another name, surely? But yeah, Dumbledore doesn't, does not look happy, guys. It's just a bad sign. Harry Potter. Harry Potter! Uh, but he didn't put his name in, did he? And he's also not old enough to, so... Harry Potter! Oh, God. I, yeah. Dumbledore's not happy. Did someone else put his name in? Because he wouldn't have done it, right? Oh, Dumbledore. It's not... He, he didn't write it! I don't think... Oh, I'm terrified of him now, guys. He's always been so nice up until now, and now I... Oh, everyone He's hates him. You're not even 17 yet. Yeah. We know, dude. Captain Obvious over there. That's why he was <laughs> like, He's not even 17. And he just noticed. Hmm, this guy. Well, I wasn't a fan already, guys, but did he have something to do with it? Or maybe serious? It's unlikely. Oh god. Dumbledore angry is actually terrifying. Oh my god! The rules are absolute. The goblet of fire constitutes a binding magical contact. Oh I've, what? I thought they got to overwrite the goblet. Potter has no choice. I try with the champion. Oh this poor sod he looks he does not look happy about it. Oh god it's not his fault, guys! That is a horrible image! How scary all of looking so angry at him! Jeez! Oh, Harry, if Harry's not happy about it, guys, can't he just, like, purple... No, it's, it's, it's a dangerous thing, isn't it? So, it may be to pass a test, you have to survive it. I was going to say, maybe you could just, like, throw it, but if, you know, throwing it might mean him dying 50 times. If we are to truly discover the meaning of these events... Oh, Snape. Left them unfold. If it's Malfoy, you wouldn't be allowing it. No. I agree. With Severus. Oh, my goodness! I mean, you assume that maybe it's Voldemort, guys. That's obviously where my mind's going. I don't know, guys. I don't know. How did you do it? He didn't do it, Ron! He, he looked very annoyed, actually, just now. He actually really did. Ron Weasley, Harry Potter's stupid friend. It's kind of your role in these movies, but yes. Apparently not in the books, guys. Apparently not in the books at all. Okay. Yeah, Ron did look very annoyed actually when he when um, Dumbledore was calling Harry to him. Actually, I don't like this, guys. Jeez, I don't like Ron and uh, Harry not being friends. I want to know what's <laughs> going on with Ron here. What a charismatic quartet! That's Queenie from Blackadder, right? I'm Rita Skeeter. Rita Skeeter. I for the Daily Prophet. Works lurk beneath those rosy cheeks. Ow. What was feeling up to Sherry? Hmm? <laughs> Rita Skeeter, guys. She's a great actress. If that's who I think it is, guys, she's in Black Out of the Second Series as as the as Queen Victoria or Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh no, Elizabeth, I think. <laughs> I should know. I really should know. This is cozy. Uh Rita Skeeter's gonna get freaking banged up the slammer. I mean go to prison, I should say. It's to explain to anyone who isn't from the UK, guys. A mere boy of twelve. 14. About to compete to have mastered spells that you wouldn't attempt in your dizziest daydream. Oh wow, really bigging him up. No ordinary boy of 12, are you? 14. The story is legend. Why does he seem to say 12? <laughs> oh my so goodness. Your parents were they alive? How do you think they'd feel? Hmm? Just they slap her, Harry. My eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past. Oh, nice term. Miranda Richardson, guys. I think that, that's her name. She's a brilliant actress, actually. Uh, lovely to see her in this. I wish everyone's name was so easy to remember as Rita Skeeter, guys. I couldn't risk sending Edward one o'clock this Saturday night and make sure you're alone. How is he going to get in there and detect it? I guess he was able to last. Ow! The bird bites. Well, then. I'm glad that we're actually getting serious in this one. Unless it wasn't serious. It certainly sounded like him. His eyes swimming with the ghost of his past. I took you back to you. That's <laughs> what you deserve, love. It's, it, I'm guessing this is serious. It... Serious. Wow, he's looking pretty hot. How? Not put your name into the goblet of fire. No. It's terrifying. Ask, mentioned Wormtail and Voldemort. But who was the third man in the room? David Tennant. So his Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. No, it never was, what dude. Oh god. Someone's coming. Keep your friends close, Harry. What does that mean? Who are you talking to? Oh, Ron. What? This. Who says I was talking to anyone? You're probably just practicing for your next interview, I expect. I don't like Harry and Ron not getting on, guys. 
I really don't. This is not. This is not. This is not happy times. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, is he actually not talking to him? Come on, Ron, for goodness sake. Ronald would like me to tell you. He was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Is that right? Well, what? <laughs> um, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. 14 years old, guys. His, okay, Ron's hair is spectacular. Hagrid's looking for you. Yes, Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. <laughs> not an owl. That's the best quote of this movie so far, guys. I don't like this, guys. I keep saying it. I really don't like Ron and uh, Harry not getting on. Oh, goodness. It had to be in the night time as well, didn't it? Hagrid's looking very dapper. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. i to try the same thing now and again. <laughs> the French teacher! I'm like the head... Yes, of course. I thought perhaps you had forgotten me. Forget you, old lamb. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. You'll be glad you came. Trust me. Oh God, oh, God I know, I know a spider. Dave, I'd love to meet you. Um, okay. That's the first task. You're joking. Oh my! A seriously misunderstood creature. God. Yeah, right. Wrong was here. Well, sure. Oh, of course. No, he didn't. Oh man, it's so unlike Ron. He's like really pissed off. Yeah. How do I buy one of those right this second? I mean, he's Hufflepuff. He should be really nice. I had no idea he was in this. That's the first task. Without the badges, I've asked him not to wear them. Don't worry about it. Oh, I thought he said badger. He's, he's, he's a good egg. Get, you know that. Get! I know so. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just didn't expect the term git to be in this, this extremely expensive movie series. Ow. Twist his ankle. Where's Dobby during all this? Oh, no, you don't, Sonny! Okay. Uh, uh, ah. Ah. Uh, ah. <laughs> oh no! Woo oh god, oh god, oh god. He's about to have his balls cut off, guys. Oh my goodness. Moody's a psychopath, guys. Amazing, amazing, guys. <laughs> okay, I want more of McGonagall and Alistair. Uh, Moody. I've heard, you know what guys, Draco Malfoy, that's his full name, right? I've heard that some people say that he's not a very good actor. I think he's freaking great. I don't understand these guys. I thought, I think every single kid in it so far has been brilliant. Just honestly. <laughs> wow. Is that the bother telling you what's in there? You wouldn't believe it if I did. Pockets? Sit. What do they, do they have to train a dragon? Or defeat it? Surely not defeat it. Beating the crap out of Voldemort? Well, I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Yeah, seeker. Fair the way I heard it. You're allowed a wand. You can't fly a wand, can you? Not much foot room. Oh, those those colours look so good, good, cool, guys. Uh, Hufflepuff. Seriously, that outfit. Do they not get their own changing room? Why any? Harry, how are you feeling? Okay. Terrified. Here's to concentrate. After that, you just have to battle a dragon. Battle? Oh God! Oh bless her! Oh! Oh no! She is unbelievable, guys. I think she might be up up there with my favourite character. Well, screen. It's and it stays that size, right? The Chinese fireball. Ooh! Come on, Cedric. Zed, I should say. We did short snout. The Hungarian horn tail. Oh, he looks spiky. He's the plumbing one that Hagrid is saying about. Collect the egg. Okay. Must do. Mr. Diggory, at the sound of the cannon, you. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Bit early. And now our fourth and final contestant. What happened? So, so, Cedric, so, so Cedric did good then. Oh, no pressure, dude. I'm glad that Ron turned up at least. Jeez. Oh god. 
I'm getting White Rabbit from uh, Holy Grail vibes here for some reason. Okay, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Hello, dude. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to reason with it, dude. I mean, is the, are the teachers allowed to step in and just say, no, let's stop this. He's going to die. Or he has died. Oh, he's all right. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. oh those teeth. Firebolt? That's just gonna make him angry. Oh my god, whoa, what the heck? What? He's not flying the wand. He is not flying on the wand. Oh god! You see, this is the problem with having these tournaments, guys. Oh no! Okay. They carry. Is there somewhere that you could lead it that, that would, like, you know, disable it or something? Where is it? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy to. Oh god. Oh, Harry. Did he drop his... Oh, is that... Oh, it's a firebolt! Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm... That's why I said firebolt. I'm an idiot. Guys, sorry. I, I apologize. World's fastest walk. Broom. Broomstick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Coming, Harry. Oh, God. I mean, oh, no. It's... And that's not... That's going to cost you, dude. It's on fire. I just got a firebolt, but I don't think it's going to be... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness. It's not... Oh, that's gonna slow down a little bit. That's an ancient bridge destroy. Oh, is it all right? And this is where, like, these guys say, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have this event. A little bit dangerous. Here he comes. Well, I, I hope, I hope the wyvern or the dragon, or whatever it is, is okay. I'm so sorry for thinking that he was that he made his wand into his broom just now, guys. I'm an absolute idiot. I forgot that it was called a, 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 a firebolt. Boom! There we go. So everyone survived the first run, and it looks like. Where's Ron? Come on, Ron. It's time to stop being a, a well, a git, apparently. Who wants me to open it? Yeah. Kinda of surprise. Ah. Sounded lovely. The bloody hell was that? All Come right, on. Everyone, go back to your knitting. Good. This is going to be uncomfortable enough that all you know is a dog. <laughs> I, I love the twins. I love the twins. I think they're hilarious. At least I warned you about the dragons. Hagrid warned me about the dragons. Come on, we'll Harry. Be all right. After you figured that out. Who, who could possibly figure that out? <laughs> it's completely mental. Mental. I do love the fact they say mental in these movies as well. <laughs> Boys. Harry, come on. Ron's hair is beautiful. It's time to make up. Seriously. I, I hope that they're friends now again, guys, because I honestly didn't like seeing them not being friends. And oh my, they got cereal now. Harry. My goodness. Where's the where's pumpkin pa paste pasty? There she is, it's pumpkin pasty! <laughs> Harry. Miss Granger, a plain but ambitious girl, seems to be developing a taste for famous wizards. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? Well, you sent me a dress. A dress? Well, it does match your eyes. They're for you. What? <laughs> Why? Dress robes. I mean, I know his no. hair's looking fabulous, but where is this going? A tournament. Mrs. Norris Since is back. Back insane. with the red eyes again now. Gather in the Great Hall for a night of well-mannered frivolity. We get pissed. The Yule Ball, a dance. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm with them. By behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Oh, I thought she was going to say something else then. <laughs> now, to dance <laughs> is to let the body <laughs> breathe. A secret swan slumbers, longing to burst forth into flight. This isn't why we came to Hogwarts. Mr. Weasley. Oh, Weasley. Ron. Me, please. <laughs> Place your right hand on my waist. And extend your arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't embarrassing for a student at all, is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bless him. Yes, devil! Let's again. I nearly swore. Let's go. Yes, devil. Casanova over here. Why do I 
Well, good for Neville. And how you supposed to get one on their own to ask? Oh my goodness. Oh, she's Ravenclaw! You say dragons. If you can't get a date, you can. I think I take the dragon. Oh, there's the Hufflepuff girls. Joe was a tiny little fella, my dad. I could pick him up at the age of six with one hand and put him up in the dresser. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see Hagrid looking up. What was that? And then he died just when I started school. Yeah, poor Hagrid. But enough of me. What about you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bless. I would have thought they'd all be after Batman. He was in those movies about vampires, wasn't he? At this rate, you'll be the only one to argue without dates. <laughs> wow, Snape. It might interest you to know that Neville's already got someone. I was going to say, yeah. He's putting the effort in, guys. No, Just because he's got fabulous hair. Good on him! Good on him! Well, Hermione. I thought they. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come with my eye. Oh. Hermione, you're a girl! <laughs> that could be the funniest moment in these movies so far, guys. Someone's asked me. Oh, Cedric? Maybe? And I said yes. G good for her? Has Pumpkin Pasty got a date yet? Right when we get back to the common room, we'll both have It's going to be painful. Oh. Are they going to get a date in time? i got to say, less, less is on the line in this one <laughs> compared to Prisoner of Azkaban. By this stage, we're finding out that uh, Sirius was... <gasps> Pumpkin pasty! Just wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Oh, um... Harry, I'm... Awkward. Sorry, but well, I've I've said I'll go. Flirting. Not Draco. Okay. Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's Plumin Malfoy. There she was walking by. You know I like it when they walk. Couldn't <laughs> help it. Just sort of slipped out. What did? Actually, he sort of screamed at her. Oh, he said, "Okay, I'm glad that only that yeah. slipped out." Oh, it's the night of. Oh no. <laughs> so who's Pumpkin Pasty going out with then? It's gotta be, it's definitely Draco. It's definitely, 100%, definitely, Whoa. definitely, definitely Draco Malfoy. Why? What is going on here? He actually looks fine. It actually suits him. What are those? My dress. What are those? Well, they're all right. Well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? I look like my great aunt Tessie. I think he looks great. I smell like my great aunt Tessie. Oh, lovely. Tessie. I think he looks great. I really do. It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. Surely I told you that. Oh. No. Oh, you're well, now you know. <laughs> Is it, did it say that they're Patels? Because we heard about Fatty Patel in the first one. Oh, she bagged, um, um, Zed. So who's she? Oh, it's the Bulgarian dude, of course. Ah, oh, nice little Hermione. So she's going to be on the opening dance as well, then. That outfit, though. He's he's looking pretty sharp as well, I must admit. Ah, oh, Batman's looking great. Zed, I should say. My rep. I'm so glad that, he, that we got a proper apple puff. Oh, wow. Harry, take my waist. Oh, bless her. He's, he's a good wizard, guys. Doesn't mean he's got to be a good dancer. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Miss Norris. I swear to God, guys, there was one scene in um, in Prisoner where Miss Norris had green eyes. Uh, am I imagining that? Was it an error? She, she's always... Oh, no way! Ginny Neville! Fantastic. Good on him. And her. Okay, what a lovely outfit. Looks like he's already drunk as well. Yep, yeah, and now he's even more drunk. Oh, God, that eye. Oh, come on now. This is the dance everyone wants to see. Come on now. Come on now. What? Why? Wait! Wait! What the hell? Is that actually Pulp? That's freaking the lead singer. Jarvis Cocker, right? Well, it's Jarvis Cocker at least. Guys, <laughs> the lead singer of Pulp. Good, I'm glad. At least someone's appreciative. He does have lovely hair though. Love, seriously. That's something. 
I'm glad this guy's having a good time as well. He seems very serious outside of the, outside of this. Victor's gone to go and get drinks. She cared to join us. Victor Crump. No. What's got your wand in a knot? <laughs> What's got your wand? You're fraternising with the enemy. The enemy? Uh, yeah, come on now. Who was it wanting his autograph? I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. <clears throat> Charming, Ron. Ron's been a bit of a dick in this movie, guys. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. <laughs> wow. It's just not their scene, I guess. How dare you? Besides, I can take care of myself. Dare it. The solution, then, don't you? Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's so sad. That's the sad. Where have you been? <laughs> Never mind. Off to bed, both of you. Hermione's on a warpath, guys. When they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! Oh, God. Oh, no, guys! That is so sad. So I was right then. Like, Hermione and Ron do have a sort of a thing. Okay, Hagrid. Hangrid, more like. Wow. Oh, that was so sad. I don't know if that was very funny, guys, but that was heartbreaking when Hermione said pluck up the courage next time. I've, I've mentioned it before a couple of times, guys, that there does seem to be this weird awkwardness between Hermione and Ron. And maybe it is legit, but then again, she also seemed like annoyed at Harry as well, so maybe she was hoping that, that Harry would uh, ask her as well. But I guess it's not about, you know, who you actually, you know, who, who actually fancy, to put it in the classiest way I possibly can. But it's more about, you know, actually getting asked, especially for the guards, to actually feel like she, that, you know, oh, it's, it's sad. It, that's that blooming age as well, guys. It's that blooming age. So one thing which I'll say about this and Prisoner of Azkaban, they both did it really well, actually, where there is an underlying story, but a big chunk of the focus on the first half has just been about school life. And I really appreciate that, guys. Like I said many times, I hate it seeing Ron and Harry not being friends. That actually upset me, guys. That that was actually really heartbreaking, so I'm glad that they're now back together. And there was no, like, sort of, like, shaking hands or embrace or anything. There is that sort of, like, yeah, okay, it's awkward, but we're friends again now, sort of thing, which is just so... I don't know if that's particularly a boy thing, but it's such a natural thing where you're just like, and now we're friends again. And no one p mentioned anything about what happened before, sort of thing, and I love that. I, I, I've broken the one thing which I always try to avoid when doing these sort of things. I had to look up some names because... There are so many new, new names, guys, and quite frankly, I only, only had half of them down. And so, um, uh, Madame Maxim, I believe is her name, the um, Bo Barton's uh, headmistress. She, she's played by a very well-known uh, actress over here, uh, but she's best known for her role in Rising Damp, which is a sitcom in which she played Miss Jones um, across the way from Leonard Roster, who is a fantastic actor. But yeah, it's lovely to see her in this. I did not expect her, uh, her to be in this. Um, I've now find, written down the different skulls, and so it's Bo Barton's and Drumstrang, which is where Victor Crom is from. Um, Flora Delacour? I, 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 I'm I not sure how much she's actually said, actually. I don't know how crucial she is. But um, her school has some style, I must admit. And uh, Pumpkin Pasty, who, who I will now stop referring to that, is is called Cho Chang. I believe that's right. I apologise if I'm getting the pronunciation wrong, wrong, but I had to look that up. Um, this is excellent, though. The lot, very, very different, guys. I was not expecting the World Cup at the start. That was actually really cool to say. I was kind of hoping to see a bit more of the World Cup, but obviously that wasn't going to happen. But now we have this Goblet of Fire um, uh, challenge with these four stewards. They're all through the first cha uh, through, through the first round now, uh, thank goodness. But yeah, Bloomin' Batman. Um, I didn't look up his name, guys, but like I said, I've seen him in The Lighthouse, which is a movie from a couple of years ago, and he is a fantastic actor. I know that he's best known for uh, it's called Twilight, isn't it? A, a, a movie series called Twilight. I know very little about. I know there's a werewolf and a and a, uh, and a vampire, and um, Land Rovers. Is that the main story of it? I I, I think that that's it. I, I I I honestly don't know anything else about it. And presumably he is the character that we saw in Prison of Azkaban. It could have been the same actor though, could it? I very much doubt it. Maybe it was, but yeah, this must be one of the first things that he was ever in. So he looks so young in it. Um, although he is three years older than Harry, so he's 17 years old. Um, 
So he, presumably he's nearly done with Hog Hogwarts now. Ron is like a, being a bit nasty in this movie, guys. Uh, but you know, it's that age. You, you do change a lot. You guys have been saying a lot that he is very, very different in the books. Um, and quite frankly, because you a lot of you guys have been saying that that you want me to check them out. I don't know how to check them out, guys. I, I, maybe first, just like you know. I want to listen to the audiobooks because apparently Jim Dale and Stephen Fry d do them. I would more be interested in the Jim Dale version because Jim Dale's a better actor. J Stephen Fry's great and everything, guys, but he he admits himself that when he was in a uh, a a double act with uh, Hugh Laurie, Hugh Laurie was clearly the actor, although. Stephen Fry was fantastic in Jeeves and Worcester. In fact, I got the, I could get it down right now, but I won't. I got like, the box set of Jeeves and Worcester where he plays Jeeves. Stephen Fry does, and he's fantastic in it. But out of the two, I think I'm more interested in the Jim Dale one. Uh, the badges, which it had at one point, where uh, it had like uh, Cedric's face, and then it changed to like uh, Potter stinks. I can't remember. I can't remember. It's amazing now. I I do kind of want one of those. I'm gonna have to look to see if I can get one online and wear it at the next video, maybe. <laughs> I should say, guys, if you do want me to do uh, reviews of uh, of the books, or if you've got any other suggestions on how I can do it, let me know. Reactions isn't really going to be possible because they're obviously like many hours long. But if you've got any ideas of how we could actually work out me covering the books, I, I definitely want to. I also definitely want to be checking out Fantastic Beasts after this. Um, at one point, I am hoping to put a video celebrating the 75,000 uh, subscriber count, guys. And in that, I will mention other series that I could cover. Uh, one series that I've had suggested is Hunger Games, and I know pretty much nothing about that. So that could be coming if it's something that you're going to be interested in. Um, I have seen the first Lord of the Rings, and that's it. Uh, so if I was to cover Lord of the Rings, would have to do like a, a refresher with uh, the uh, Fellowship of the Rings, which is the only watch I've said, um, just so I can remember all the names and so on and so forth. I know there's Sean Dean in it though. But yeah, there are other things that I can cover. Fantastic Beast, I think, is definitely on the cards though, which apparently stars a health buff. So um, I'm loving seeing Hagrid's love love uh, affair because uh, apparently Hagrid's had a bloody terrible life. Poor. Poor chap, seriously. It's lovely to see him looking up to characters as well, because he's always looking down. He must get very bad posture because of that. Um, the Triwizard Cup. I mean, Dumbledore was actually scary. Like, he was well, like a proper actual scary teacher uh, earlier on in this, guys. Um, and Snape's like saying, let's just see, see, see what happens. But I thought that maybe Sirius put his name in, but why would he do that, though? You'd imagine it's got to be Voldemort. And this David Tennant character, we haven't seen nothing of uh, since, guys. And so, that is another thing, actually. I think that some some people have suggested that I check out the new Doctor, uh, Doctor Who stuff. Because I, I don't think I've seen a single David Tennant Doctor Who. I think I've covered most of my marks. I am thoroughly enjoying it, though, guys. And, I, and again, like I say, the storyline's there. But right now, we're just focused on these kids and their school lives. Which is so awesome, you know? I feel like there wasn't that much of that in Chambers. And, and I feel like in Philosopher's Stone there was a lot of setup, which they had to do. But in Prisoner of Azkaban and, and this, I'm really enjoying the fact that we're, we're getting so much, you know, normal school life for these kids. As normal as it is at Hogwarts. You know, nearly dying every day is, you know, that's just how things happen here. Oh, one amazing thing I've got to mention now is... is um, um, what, what's his name? Is uh, Crouch. Um being played by Roger Lloyd Park, who's who's a great actor, guys. I mentioned Vicar Dibble in the previous one. He's a, he's a, he's on the, that as well. But over here, I'd imagine most UK reactors watching this for the first time will be calling him Trigger, guys, because he is one of the most beloved comedy characters in the UK, guys. He's on a show called Only Fools and Horses. And he's like the really... I don't want to say stupid. He's 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 he's, he's special. He's, he's slow, guys. Like that's probably the best way I put it. He's like me, basically. Uh, but yeah, he's like a um a very silly character. Um, there's a character. One of the main characters is called Rodney, and he always calls him Dave, and it's never explained why. It's very strange, but love to see him because I think that a lot of people that have seen um. Only Fools and Horses may not understand how good an actor he actually is, and I actually saw him live in art. Uh, just a, a stage production, um, and he was fantastic in it, guys. He was absolutely brilliant. So, love to see him. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Rita Skeeter. I, I looked up her name earlier on. It's something Richardson, isn't it? But she's a fantastic actress. Bro uh, I know her best from Blackadder, but she's been in numerous things, and she's always fantastic in them. She has a strange interest in Harry, 
to be honest, guys. I don't know why I feel all that. But yes, the Death Eaters we ain't heard nothing about for ages. So I'm guessing that's what we're going to be getting back into now. But other than that, guys, I think I've covered all the points that I, that I want to make. Like I say, I know the guy who plays Alistair Moody uh, from In Bruges. And he is a fantastic actor. And his his character on this is genuinely scary. So that scene, actually, that scene with McGonagall and, her, and him was fantastic. When um, Draco got turned into the ferret. That's a sentence. And also, guys, the probably the greatest line ever in Harry Potter so far is Hermione saying, I am not an owl. Also, I just had to say very, very quickly, the fact that this is like a Hollywood funded major, major motion picture, one of the most famous franchises on the planet. The fact that, that Harry called Ron a git in it made me very happy. You don't tend to hear. I've been thinking about the fact that Ron says everything's mental a lot. That is such a UK thing. But for, for someone to call someone a git in such a high franchise movie is that makes me smile. That really, really does. Also, guys, one thing which I've learned in this movie, actually, is that it give, they often, these movies, I should say, is that they give you information earlier on, particularly in lessons, which is going to pay off. Uh, the Unforgivable Curses. Um, I haven't got all their names down, but it's the Killing Curse, which Harry survived from Voldemort, presumably. Um, Imperious, where, where it can control someone. The, the curse that Neville was doing where that he, with, with the torture. That's horrible. I, I didn't like that bit. But, yeah, um... Let's find out where this is going, though. Very, very interesting. Oh, he's not having that same nightmare again with um, Sykes. I didn't mention Sykes. He's like a big comedy actor. Um, it's nice to see him on this. We're, we're back again. Is, it, is that the same dream? Give our guest a proper greeting. Oh, no. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. Oh, no. Okay. That was more than a dream. Something bad's happened. <laughs> I've had a great time, Neville. Seriously, it's nice that someone had a great time there. The task is two days from now. Really? I have no idea. <laughs> it may be best to bow out in this round, dude. I mean, you're too young to be doing this tournament. How, how are you? Spectacular. <laughs> Look, I realise I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those dragons. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. That's a clue towards the egg. Your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Leave it subtle, dude. Please leave it subtle. Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. This looks like the uh, moaning, me moping, mo moaning. Mo oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I guess I won't moping, mo moaning, mo moaning, moaning, here. What's up with the sound? Obviously, what that sound is significant. Put it in the water, dude. Out of my mind. Long time, no. All right, Myrtle. Keep your eyes where, where where I can see him. All right, keep your head above water, please. Good idea. Good idea. I mean, I, I, I don't want to open it that close to your <laughs> balls, but okay. I'm no good at riddles, guys. I'm no good at riddles. Not even Tom riddles. Okay. Grab... Grab the towel, dude. Oh, the bubbles were gone. Oi! Yay, 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 yay! Hate to break up the skull session. Professor McGonagall would like to see you in her office. Sleep. I was going to say, are they now. actually allowed to help him? I guess so. Do you know there's a wizard who's growing gravity resistant trees? Neville, no offense, but I really don't care <laughs> about plants. It will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. Oh, that'd be brilliant! Is there one level? I don't know, but I can turn it. But you can always use Gillyweed. Yeah! Okay. I'm sorry, Neville's amazing, guys. He should be in, like, Ravenclaw or, or Slivering, surely. You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. Oh, well done, Neville. Slightly. I mean, uh, ne ne wow, okay, that's cool. Neville's coming up trumps here, guys, seriously. I, I would have all faith in him. Then again, I'm not the one who's about to drown, so. They will have but one hour to do so. Ugh. Oh god, oh god. Hurry. Filch. Go, hurry, go, go, go! No! Screw that! Screw that! I would be freaking out! I've killed Harry Potter! <laughs> that should have been the last line. That is terrifying. There must be a, a Potter 
fish pun that I can come up with. I can't think of one. There's a lot of fish puns, guys. But I haven't got time to do it in this place. So we're actually looking for mer people then. I'm hoping they're like aerial rather than like the really sinister ones that are in mythology. Oh, she's got a bubble on her, uh, over her mouth. That's clever. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Why well, ain't this creepy? Oh, there's loads of them. I mean, mermaids aren't meant to be nice people in... in... Is that... Hang on, that's Ron and Hermione, right? What the actual hell? Why are they... McGonagall! What the hell is this? This is some messed up trials, guys. Oh, Cedric's back. What, you Wait, wait, what? Surely you're gonna save them all, right? Nice watch. They're working together then, right? Is that Cho then? Oh god, ah! Uh -huh. one. What? what? Who's the other one then? It's not Ginny, is it? No! Okay. How was Victor? How was I? <laughs> hope you can reverse that spell. But if the if the French goes out, someone's got to do something. Harry, you're going to be annoying the mermaids though, and they didn't look too friendly. That's whoa. Okay. <laughs> what a spell. That is quite an amazing spell, I must admit. Yeah, she did have to retire. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad she's okay. I apologize. What she died. <laughs> Oh god. Oh no, we've got the squid people now. Oh god. That's, this is horrible, guys. I'm not, I mean, this is up there with the spiders. This is messed up. How long does it last? Uh oh. Oh, of course, that would be her friend. Of course it would. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. I mean. Oh! Ow! <laughs> That was a pretty cool trick. I guess he technically came last, though. Or I guess it doesn't matter, speed-wise, does it? You saved her, even though she wasn't yours to save. Oh. My little sister. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, hello. A bit. We just got his date for next year's prom, then. Okay, nice one. Second place. Oh, Victor's not. Victor stolen, but okay, that's okay. Dumbledore, this is not the first time that you've screwed over people in the rules. That's bobbins. It was a good, it was a good thing that he did say that other person did let her drown. To be fair. Congratulations, Potter. No. Achievements. I'm sure your parents would be very proud of you today, Potter. Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? The youngest try with her champion there's ever been. They're not camping out at night, surely. Oh no, Trigger! You're kidding me. Mr. Crouch? Oh, Trigger! I don't like to see that. Cancelled. I will not be seen as a coward. Fox. Fox back. Ah. <laughs> Skill. They would have known. So what's he come to see Dumbledore about them? Careful. Oh no! Ah! Okay, they're sharp like that. Okay, I should have guessed. I should have guessed. Careful. Might be a spirited away, that. Actually, there's a few animes which I haven't seen, actually, guys. I haven't seen Howling's, Howl's Moving Castle. Maybe I can re react to that at some point. I have seen Spirited Away, though. What a beautiful movie. I'm wondering if this is the same thing that Moody has in his room, where he can see his enemies or something? Okay, that's not good. Um, look out below! Oh! That's going to hurt your s tailbone. Professor. <coughs> ah, okay, it's, a, it's another... Is this going back in time, or is it? Is That's the. Off? You have been brought from Azkaban at your own request. I do, sir. And what do you wish to present? Names, sir. Oh. Council will deliberate. In the meantime, you will be returned to Azkaban. No. Oh, Wait. come on. What about Snape? Severus Snape. As the council is very much aware, I've given evidence on this matter. I oh no! Oh no! 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 This session is now concluded. I heard about one more. Oh What's no! That? The name. It's bigger than Snape. Yeah. Give me the wretched name, Bertie Crouch Junior. His son? What? Doctor Who is Trigger's son? Hello, father. You are no son of mine. 
Oh, dear. Wow. What a twist. So did he kill his father then? Oh, no. Don't tell me that Snape's actually a double agent, guys. I had a dream about him. Oh, now we're getting to it. Now we're getting to it. And he saw him as well. He couldn't have escaped from Azkaban, surely. It's not a dream. These dreams, you don't think it's actually happening, do you? Yeah, I do. Man, I don't like that about Snape, guys. I do not like that at all. Oh, awkward. Jeez, that guy's scary. Potter. Rather rare herb. Did he win? He didn't steal it from Snape, did he? Know what it is? Bubble juice, sir. <laughs> yeah. Veritas serum. The use of it on a student is regrettably forbidden. However, <laughs> regrettably. Should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might slip. You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion. I'm going to find out why. Oh, Neville. Oh, Neville's in trouble, guys. He's scared of him already. He's going to be more scared of him by the end of this. Oh, wow. Nice band. Oh, my goodness. This is a new Macarena. What? Okay, now I'm very confused. Very cautious, guys. David Tennant, or Crouch, I should say, is watching. <laughs> Mr. Diggory. Yeah! And Mr. Oh, Hopper, oh, oh, oh. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Thank goodness. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. This is going to be a psychological challenge, isn't it, guys? Well, good luck, Harry. And, well, obviously, Cedric Moore. I hope Cedric doesn't die, guys. Come on, give me a Hufflepuff. Give me a Hufflepuff, I can believe it. Filch, will you get that under... Making me jump every time he does that. This music's got JPI, uh, JRPG vibes to it. <laughs> I thought, you know what, when he came out around the corner, I was thinking, has he pretended that he came in that direction? I think we can trust Moody. I, I mean, I, I, he's got 40 minutes to survive this movie, guys. <laughs> or at least to stay in his position. I don't know what's going to happen at this point. Okay, so we're getting proper labyrinth vibes now. Okay, that's pretty big. I'm guessing it's going to be something like their memories or like people like this. You know, I feel like it's going to be psychological more than the other tasks. Oh God, I'm bent! Okay, that definitely got me, guys. That definitely got me. Don't jump scare me again. Okay, what, what's... What's up with his eyes? No! I was just about to say, was it... Okay. I swear to God, guys. I swear to God, I was going to say, uh, as, as a joke, I wonder if it is one of the other challenges. That's... No, oh, Victor, what are you... What are you playing at? Uh-oh. How you doing, buddy? Can he not see him? Well, what? Was he like the Basilisk from <laughs> Chamber of Secrets? Oh, God. Okay, this ain't going to help. Oh, God! Jump scare. Jump scare. Oh, I was going to jump scare. Oh, is that... Get down! Whoa! Get down! Get down! Yes! Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, don't! He's bewitched, Cedric! Oh! Okay, that makes sense. So that's, that, that's one of the unforgivable curses coming back then. Oh, come on, Harry. Let him win. I mean, it, at least we know that Cedric's not going to cheat at least. Well, I guess he's not going to. That's half a puffs. Don't cheat, my knights. No! Okay, fine. He technically came second then. No! No, 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 no. Do not. Okay, Harry, do something. I don't. Okay. This is bad. Harry. Harry. Harry, do not turn evil all of a sudden. Oh, thank goodness. Right, and now, Cedric, knock out Harry and go and win the thing. I'm joking, I'm joking. Good man. Thanks. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were going to let it get me. For a moment, so did I. Well, don't say that. I'm game, huh? Well, Ced Cedric's going to let him win now. He's got to. Oh, man. I thought this was going to be more about cunning this thing. It's all just about nearly dying. Let, let him win, Cedric. It's, it's the right thing to do. Go on, take it. Yes. You saved me, take it. Come on. Hufflepuff is the best, guys. Great. Oh, team efforts! So Hogwarts won then, essentially, is what it's saying. 
Uh, unexpected? Why are we here? Okay, this is upsetting. Oh no. Baby Voldemort is terrifying. No! Oh no. Oh no, not Cedric already. Um. Okay, so Pettigrew's gone into business for himself? Sacrificed. Ah. This is to bring Voldemort back, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Please don't tell me Cedric's actually dead. Do something if you're if you if you're still alive, Cedric, please. Oh god, Voldemort's actually gonna be properly back now? Oh my goodness, that's brutal. Well, he's got a proper body now, at least, anyway. He's definitely smoother than he was in the first movie. Can he not grow his nose back? Oh, Pettigrew, you're dead. Here's Ralph Fiennes, guys. I can tell that to him. Fantastic actor. Fantastic actor. Oh, you're dead. That's a cool wand. Pettigrew, this is what happens when you betray your friends, dude. Oh, sneaky, sneaky tattoo. Oh, he's got his own damn posse now. Oh, those are the things that attack the World Cup at the start. Not one of you tried to find me, Lucius. Lucius Malfoy. Did, did it say the cram is one of, was one of them as well? Oh, he. Okay, I thought he's gonna kill him. Master. He's got his little finger back as well. I'd introduce you, but word has it you're almost as famous as me. Things have changed. Oh no. I can touch you. Oh no. Who the hell's gonna save him? Oh man. We need someone to come save him, guys, seriously. Your parents would be proud, especially your filthy muggle mother. Wait, what? Lily wasn't a muggle. If they speak of you, they'll speak only of how you begged for death. Get up! Oh my god. I don't know how he's gonna get out of this, guys. Okay, that's I I okay. It looks like they're level pegging with uh, power. Oh no, they're not. Oh, Harry, do something. Get out of there. Oh, well, they're gonna join in? Lucius got his one down then. What is going on now? Cedric! These are all people that he's killed. So, Lily and uh, James are gonna be here then? Harry, when the connection is broken, yes. you must get to the port key. Oh my goodness. Take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Oh no, 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 no. That's so sad. Go, 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 go. Yes, oh, thank God. Oh no. Oh, you shouldn't be applauding. Oh God, his father's there as well. What are you applauding, guys? Can you not see what's happened? Voldemort's back. He asked me to bring his body back. Oh, I couldn't no. leave him. Let me through! Oh, dear. Bye-bye! Oh, oh, dear. I'm sorry I'm not saying anything, guys, but it's really sad. Oh, man. I can make smart-ass comments about, you know, wanting him to be more in more than one movie, guys, but that is really sad, though. But he's a really decent chap as well. Surely he should be with like Dumbledore at this point, right? I guess Dumbledore's busy doing other things at this point with Cedric, but. What was he like? Who? The Dark Lord. Ah. Oh no. Like... Oh my god, what's happening to oh, him now? Mess. There's that drink again. <laughs> Is it like a potion to stop him from turning into something? It's not a werewolf, surely. In the graveyard where there are others. Don't tell him anymore, dude. I don't. I think I said anything about a graveyard. Oh, God, of course we can't trust him. Do you think Neville Longbottom, the witless wonder, could have provided you with Gillyweed if I hadn't given him the book that led him straight to it? Oh, he's been setting this whole thing up so Harry would get into this. So he's got to be working for Voldemort then, right? From the beginning. Oh, my goodness. Is this actually Crouch, like, disguised? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I was going to say, Dumbledore would have to know something about this. 
Oh, this is the truth serum? Right. Moody's in the box? What? So that's Crouch then. It's got to be Crouch. Whoa, he's a little guy. Oh, he's only got his own TARDIS, guys. Now we know who's been seeding from your store, Severus. Oh. We'll catch up in a minute. Oh, God. Total recall there, guys. Two weeks. Oh, good golly. That is horrible. It's got, it's got to be Crouch. There's no one else it could be. Yeah, there he is. Send an owl to Azkaban. Think they'll find they're missing a prison. Oh, I'll be so... welcome back like a hero. Oh, they're leaking like a sieve with prisoners now, aren't they? No, no, don't leave that scene like that. No, Snape. Oh, God. We shall see. We shall see. Today, we acknowledge a really terrible loss. Frederick Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hardworking, infinitely fair-minded, fierce friend. Cedric Diggory was murdered. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. Oh, God. I bet. Not to do so, I think, would be an insult to his memory. But while we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. Remember that. Cedric Diggory will not have died in vain. No. Well said. And we'll celebrate a boy who was brave, true. A real proper Hufflepuff. I'm tearing up guys, but yeah. Jeez. He really was. Like, he's like the definition of Hufflepuff. I'm sorry guys, I, I, I get like this. But that is so sad. I never liked these curtains. Set them on fire in my fourth year. By accident, of course. <laughs> Dark and difficult times lie ahead. You're not alone. Absolutely. I hate the fact that it was Snape who suggested he stay in the championship, guys. Oh, is it, it, they're going home now. Hey! Oh, this is really nice that the scores ended up, you know, all being friends and everything. I guess after what happened, what, what else can you do, guys? Who won the cup was irrelevant at the end of the day. Do you ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts? Wouldn't make for an interesting movie, though. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? You still got each other, though. I promise you'll write this summer. I won't. You know <laughs> I won't. Harry will, won't you? Yeah, every week. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, yeah, you, you can definitely feel... We can definitely feel it's going to be changing, guys. You can definitely tell that the, the 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 joy of the movies up now is going to be slowly dwindling, but it's going to make it for an interesting journey, though it really has. I don't know if we'll see them again, but it was very interesting having different schools being at Hogwarts. I'm guessing that's going to be the last we see of them. It, that is okay, guys. Beautiful. I'm so sorry about tearing up, guys. That's just how I am, unfortunately. But that was actually really sad. The fact that he was clearly such a great guy. And, yeah. I honestly thought that uh, Moody was just going to get killed, quite frankly. But the fact that he turned out to actually be David Tennant, guys. <laughs> I, I, don't, you know, I should call him by his name, but Crouch. Um, I, it was Ralph Fiennes playing Voldemort here. Yeah, he's such a good actor, guys. And Ralph Fiennes was in In Bruges, which um, Moody was, uh, was in as well playing a villain in that as well. This is interesting guys, because this is the first one where we're, we're being left with the movie, not with a downer, but there's not like this like excitement about what's going to be coming up next. It is genuine fear. The, the Wormtail survived. They call him Wormtail now rather than Pettigrew, but yeah, he let him survive and you know, and Crouch is out there as well guys. And so if, ask, and, and, and he said that he'll be returning there as a hero. So I presume there's a lot of people in Azkaban who are a uh, pro, uh, Voldemort, so it, it's Cedric's dying was I would have liked more Cedric to be in it quite frankly guys His character was brilliant and he really did he was like the definition of Hufflepuff And I know that I you know I go over the top with this stuff guys and everything But I, there is this, a, a genuine sense of pride that just this guys it may sound silly, but um, There is a genuine sense of he he was my guy in it, you know. He's he's like he's my representative I, I said it before he did, that he did it. I knew that he was gonna let Harry uh, grab the grab the cup. I'm guessing that we will see more of Cho. I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong, guys. I, I may be pronouncing it incorrectly. Uh, Rita Skeeter. I have a feeling we might be seeing you again. 
it, the thing is, it wasn't a sad ending. I, I love the fact that it ended with, the, the, you know, the famous three with a smile on their face, even though the fact that they know bad things are coming in their future. That was a really nice way of leaving it. That speech where Dumbledore absolutely got me, guys. I, it really did. That was uh, very, very, uh, yeah, that, that hit me hard. And like, <laughs> like Ron said, can we not just have a normal year at Hogwarts? Imagine that there was a, a year where they're like the, the, the most stressful thing is like the, 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 the exams coming up at the end of the year or something. I, I'd watch it. I would absolutely watch it. But um, I get the feeling now we might be seeing less of the school and the jovial aspects of it. We may have even seen the last of Quidditch. I thought that, with, with that start, with the World Cup and everything, I thought, what, is this gonna be like a sports movie now? But it really wasn't though. Voldemort's back, guys, and it's kind of, I mean, the fact that everyone is terrified, including Dumbledore, is showing how powerful this guy really is, and so. I, I don't know, you guys have been saying that it was part of a, a, part of a curse that got put on the dark, Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Um, roll. I presume a double doesn't know about that because I, it, if like I had like loads like uh, applications for it, I would invite people in purely just to get them in cuffs and sent off to Azkaban. I don't care if they're innocent, guys. <laughs> I do. Okay, <laughs> but but yeah, at the same, same time, it's a bit of a risk. Uh, Lupin is obviously like the only. Uh, uh, yeah, he's like the only like properly trustworthy one. So bring on the next sap that's going to be the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, guys. I like the fact that at this point, it's, it, it must be very immediately obvious to the, to the audience that, okay, this guy's going to be either corrupt or screwed by the end of it. I'm so sorry to Chu Chao for uh, calling a pumpkin pasty. I thought, I thought she was going to be like really crucial to the story, quite frankly. But she was Ravenclaw. I have been told, guys, there is a Ravenclaw coming up that, that, that I will like. I even know their name because of one of my subscribers uh, used to be called them for a long time and so we shall, we, shall, we shall see if I love or think that they're good. You know one thing I did particularly like about this is that when, when we saw the students walking around the school, and I'm sure this has been the case in all the movies so far, but you could clearly see, ah, there's a Ravenclaw, there's a Slivering, ah, a Hufflepuff, Gryffindor. You could see who they were and they're all like mingling together, whereas um, I remember editing like uh, this Philosopher's Stone trying to see where the different students are and half of the time I couldn't work out guys and so uh, I think that there is a thing where Slivering and Gryffindor attend classes together and obviously presumably Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff attend classes together. I guess it's just like you to keep things simple and everything but uh, it was nice to see a good mixture of characters uh, this time. I'm genuinely sad about Zed. You know one thing I was going to say earlier on, I didn't guys, is that there's a famous line from um, Pulp Fiction, uh, like um, a movie, and there's a famous bit where a guy goes, Zed's dead baby, Zed's dead. And I was going to say earlier on in the movie, I hope that by the end of this we're not, we're not saying Zed's dead. But unfortunately Zed's dead, and so Bruce Willis was right. Uh, he's tall now isn't he, Neville? He's, he's shooting up, he really is. Um, not much uh, Malfoy, Malfoy at all, Draco Malfoy I should say, he was barely in it in, fa in fact. Um, I, 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 I probably heard this wrong guys, but I thought that one of the people that, that, that Voldemort said at the end was called Crab or Crab. And obviously Crab is one of um, Draco's dudes anyway, so I wonder if, 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 if you know, the other students are actually the the sons of uh, sons of daughters of these people that we saw at the end. I'm gonna have to listen up to those names. You and he, and he said particularly you, Lu Lucius. So obviously he's like the, the top dog. But I want to know who else we, we we can't trust here. Sad times, guys. I can. You know what? You know what? I've got to say this one more, one more thing before we end, guys. Is that I've been told? Oh, they're gonna get darker. They're gonna get darker. And oh. oh the, 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 Philosopher's Stone was just joyous. Chamber of Secrets had terrifying scenes in it. Prisoner of Azkaban was a lot more mature story, but I didn't feel the darkness coming in that path. I can absolutely feel now this is absolutely going to be dark from here on out, and I'm all for it. Oh man, I'm sad about Cedric. What a great character though. A true Hufflepuff through and through. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Love every single one of you. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. All that goes up. I'm Virgie Gamer, and I'll see you next time.
I should say, just because the credits are playing and I've just noticed the tune, uh, Jarvis Cocker being in this is a, definitely a name which I did not expect to be cropping up. But there we go, Jarvis Cocker of Pulp, for some reason, is in Harry Potter now. <laughs>